I recently made a video that looked at Trump and Biden from a leadership perspective. As I mentioned in the previous video, the recent court cases against Donald Trump will probably dominate the news cycle in the coming weeks. But no matter whether you think that these cases have merit or maybe they're just frivolous, in this video I want to set aside all of the legal drama and simply talk about the men and their policies. As I said before, let's assume that both Trump and Biden are mentally and physically fit for the office. With that in mind, let's look at their two very different agendas. To do that, I'm going to take seven of the top concerns that Americans expressed in recent polling as a guide for evaluating which of the two would better serve our country. You can use these concerns to evaluate what each candidate is proposing. I know that there are other issues that could be listed, but I've simply taken the ones that polls indicate are of the greatest concern to most Americans. The first of these is public trust. And I think it's no surprise that the majority of Americans believe that government at the national, state, and local levels can no longer be trusted. Even a decade or two ago, most people believed that government officials were mostly honest and trustworthy, and that government programs, though inefficient and flawed in some ways, basically served the public interest. And I'm sure that corruption and graft and unethical behavior has been going on for a long, long time, maybe forever. But it seems like the situation has gotten a lot worse lately. Maybe public officials have gotten bolder in their greed and lawlessness. But I think it's also something that people in general are more acutely aware of because social media has provided ways around the controlled flow of information by the mainstream media outlets. So the restoration of public trust is a huge issue we face in the 2024 election. A second issue is the economy. This is at the very top of people's lists of concern about our country's future. In Bill Clinton's second election campaign, his advisors wisely reminded him, it's the economy, stupid. And I think that slogan works nicely for 2024 as well. No matter what official government statistics and pronouncements may say, most people realize that their dollars don't buy as much and certain items like homes and other things are out of reach for most people today. Banks are in trouble as well. Recently, we've seen banks fail and get bought up by other banks. Then there's the question of the BRICS economic network, which is fast becoming a rival to the U.S. petrodollar. As the BRICS system grows in the world economy, the power of the American dollar will inevitably decline and could collapse in the not-too-distant future. People are beginning to sense this and are understandably worried. So that's an issue for us to think about in the upcoming election. A third issue is foreign relations. How is the United States viewed by its friends and its enemies? I think most of us would not be for an America that bullies other nations, a, a reputation that we've actually earned in some parts of the world, and perhaps rightly so. But neither do we want to appear weak and vulnerable to other nations. So does the United States command respect and admiration around the world? And which candidate's policies would bring the United States into a more favorable position in the world community? A fourth issue that many people are concerned about is the state of the American educational system. At one time, we were among a few nations whose educational systems were considered absolutely excellent, top-notch, and forward-thinking. Today, even by our own government's information, we have slipped far behind in many areas, including science and technology. Many people are concerned that our public education is more interested in promoting certain social values and goals rather than actually educating people into a useful career. Enrollments in public higher education in the last several years have been down by at least 10% across the board. Once again, listen to the proposals made by the two candidates in relation to this issue. Another issue at the very top of Americans' list of concerns is immigration. Very, very few people are okay with the current situation at our southern border. And I think almost all of us would want productive and sustainable immigration that's both legal and safe for American citizens and for the country as a whole. 
I understand that President Biden has recently issued an executive order that he claims, at least, will correct the unhindered movement of people across the border. I haven't really examined it closely yet, but I would urge that we all do so to see if it's really a feasible plan that would actually solve the problem. Donald Trump has made it very clear what he intends to do about this important issue if he's elected. Another issue is national pride. Now, I spent my teenage years growing up during the anti-war movement in Vietnam. But even in that time, people were proud to be American, even some of the ones who were protesting our policies in that country. They just didn't like the war that we were fighting. And it turns out that they were right about a lot of that. Today, there are many fewer people who are proud to be Americans for lots of different reasons. And this includes people on both sides of the spectrum, left and right. So a policy that would restore national pride would be a desirable outcome for this next election. Finally, many people are concerned about unity among us as Americans. I don't think that there's any doubt that we Americans are far more fragmented, far more suspicious of one another than at any time since the Civil War. My sense is that the vast majority of Americans are happy with our diversity as a nation. What we are not happy with is the way we are divided against one another. E pluribus unum is our national motto. In Latin it means from many one. We are a people of diverse backgrounds and cultures who have been formed into one nation. The candidate that promotes that concept is likely to win the hearts and minds of the vast majority of Americans. Okay, so with these seven policy concerns of the American people, which of the two main candidates, Trump or Biden, would do a better job of solving the problems? I'm going to resist the temptation to draw conclusions for you in this video, although I'm pretty sure that maybe my bias has peeped through from time to time. I think most anyone who will watch this video to the very end is fully capable of making up their own minds. In any case, I hope this video has helped us all think a little more clearly in these turbulent times. This is Dr. Michael Bogart with Aspect Ministries and the Unexpected Bible YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It will really help us to get the word out. See you next time.